Hi, I'm Dr. Fong. I'm a general surgeon and I work in Raffles Hospital, Singapore. I do surgery for the abdomen such as gallbladder surgery, inguinal surgery and my subspecialty is colorectal surgery which means surgery for the big intestines and I work with the latest robot for the general surgeon called the Da Vinci XI. So what is a robotic surgeon? A robotic surgeon uses the robot to make your surgery better. The Da Vinci XI can be used to perform minimally invasive surgery in the abdomen for any surgery. We use it mainly for colon cancer and rectal cancer resection. It is especially useful when we have a large hernia in an obese patient with inguinal hernias and ventral hernias. Our urologists use it to remove prostate and renal tumours and our gynaecologists use it to perform gynaecological surgeries such as hysterectomies. The robot needs an operator to do the surgery, and we do it here at a console. The surgeon moves his hands and fingers, and the robot replicates it within the patient's body. Using the robot requires specific training. Only a handful of surgeons can do robotic surgery well. Robotic arms are very small and delicate and they allow the surgeon to do very fine surgery deep in a patient's abdomen. These controls allow human movements to be translated to even fine movements at 2 is to 1 or even 3 is to 1 proportions. Operating with traditional instruments at far distances makes tremor pronounced. Tremor is present in everyone, especially as you get older. The robot completely removes tremor. The camera in the robot combines the most advanced technologies in all laparoscopic conventional camera systems to give us the best view, including three-dimensional magnification. What all these technologies means that it gives us, the robotic surgeons, the best tools available to do very fine and precise surgery. So, is robotic surgery really better than conventional surgery? That is a good question, and the answer is, it depends. If you are comparing robotic surgery with open surgery, where the surgeon opens a big wound in the tummy, puts both hands inside the abdominal cavity and does the surgery, then robotic surgery is definitely better. Because the wounds are smaller, you would have less problems related to wound infection and long-term issues such as hernias, where the small intestines bulge out into the abdomen or adhesions where the intestines stick together and cause chronic pain or obstruction. Now, you can also compare robotic surgery to conventional laparoscopic surgery where instead of using both hands, you're also using small instruments inside the abdomen but controlled manually by the surgeon's hand instead of through a robotic console. Now, in this instance, if both approaches manage to achieve successful surgery, then there will be almost no difference in the outcome. But where robotic surgery will be helpful will be in a few instances. Firstly, the surgery that you may be needing may be particularly difficult and your surgeon may be telling you that perhaps we shouldn't be doing this using keyhole surgery, perhaps we should be doing this open. Now sometimes, the robotic surgeon may be able to do this still minimally invasively and therefore you would be coming out better than if you were to go through with it using open surgery. Secondly, if a conventional laparoscopic surgeon encounters difficulty during a surgery, he may require to convert this to an open technique. If the same surgery is done using a robotic technique, this may not be necessary. Studies have shown that if you convert a minimally invasive surgery to an open technique, the outcome is poorer than if you started with an open technique in the first place. So in this instance, if we manage to do the surgery using a robotic technique, the surgery will be better off and the patient will have a better outcome. Lastly, the longer the surgery is, the better the robot is at keeping your surgeon working at peak competency. Some surgeries may last 9 hours, 10 hours, and in such instances, the robot will be able to keep the surgeon focused, 
comfortable and working optimally in achieving the best result. There was one case in which the robot really helped us do a very good job for our patient. This particular patient was an elderly man who had a cancer of the rectum which was invading into the prostate and surgery required us to remove both the rectum and the prostate together. I think there are only a handful of people in the entire world who would consider doing this surgery and achieve an acceptable outcome using a conventional laparoscopic technique. In this instance, me and my colleague managed to do this surgery successfully using a minimally invasive technique using the robot and we didn't find any problems doing it at all. In short, for many surgeries, the robot may not make much of a difference. However, the more complex the surgery, the more likely the robot is able to achieve it with a satisfactory outcome using a minimally invasive technique. In addition, if there are unexpected findings, the surgeon will be more able to handle these using a robot and avoid a conversion to open. Because of the requirement of using the robot, the cost of surgery will certainly be higher. However, Raffles Hospital is committed to making this advanced technology affordable and available to all our patients that require it. I hope this video has been useful in helping you decide if robotic surgery is right for you. Thank you very much for your time.